tough situation because I like both guys. So, but Mark Breland was very clear in this podcast that he didn't have a he did not have a good relationship with with Deontay Wilder, and he felt that Deontay Wilder didn't listen during his training, and that he specifically said he didn't listen to, during training. He has no skills, and at this point in time, he's all surrounded by yes men. Those are the words of Fanon, um, former member of the LDBC or whatever. You know, he still has a successful boxing channel. Shout out to him. And he was talking about Mark Breland as Mark Breland set the record straight and, you know, and gave his opinion about Deontay Wilder. Now, Mark Breland, of course, is the former trainer of Deontay Wilder and was fired because he threw in the towel uh, unwarningly. OK, um, a lot of people thought it was a good idea. A lot of people didn't. However, it didn't matter because Deontay Wilder was the guy that called the shots. Right. It's safe to say. So um, this is what Fanon is saying. He's you know that Mark Breland is scolding him again. No, Mark Breland is basically telling people what he felt. And let me tell you guys one thing about Mark Breland. The interview with um, Akundi and, and, and the knowledge, that was totally accidental, okay? And it was accidental on the wording of what people asked Mark Breland. They weren't supposed to ask Mark Breland about that, but Tonde didn't know about not asking him. And Mark Breland just went off, okay? He went off. So, and then later on, he kind of retracted some things that he said, but obviously he went off because he had stuff building up, okay? He was building, things were building up. He wanted to get something off his chest. He wanted to tell people what he felt and how he felt, you know, because a lot of people were saying that he was a cheating and he was helping or a spy and all that shit. So, you know, he just told people what he felt, but then because he retracted it, that shows you that he suppressed a lot of things and a lot of things he could have done that he really didn't want to do. So him saying, oh, again, he's calling will be thankful because at least he's speaking his mind freely or freer now than he did before. Because before everything was damn near like a top secret, like what happened? What's the relationship? Are you fired? Are you rehired? Or what's the deal? You know, so a lot of people didn't know what was going on with Mark Breland, how Mark Breland thought, how he felt. Until he let it loose. Okay, let's continue. Oh, you know, as far as Deontay Wilder not having any skills, you know, um, there is a there is a there is a problem here with, like I said, um, Mark Breland taking accountability for his role and what went what went on. First of all, you know, as far as him getting fired, don't throw in the towel, right? <laughs> you know. Can't say anything about the water and whether he was in the water or not because, you know, he had anything to do with the water because he's going to say that he didn't have anything to do with the water. However, you know for certain that he did throw in the towel and throwing in the towel was, you know, the reason that the fight was got, got stopped. And that's something that Deontay Wilder stopped asking him to do. So, so accountability, um, like I explained, he got fired because he threw in the towel. OK, that was the reason he got fired. Now, we cannot, OK, counterpunching what he said. You have to be accountable. That's true. Fanon's right. You do have to be accountable of the things that you do. If someone tells you not to do something, if your boss tells you, hey, don't do this shit, please don't do it. OK. Um, but the problem was. We can't pretend that that was the only thing that Deontay Wilder had against Mark Breland or the only problem he had with Mark Breland is because he threw in the towel. OK, even though he was getting the piss beat out of him, people, he was getting beat up. OK, we everybody saw that fight. I saw that fight last week. He was getting his ass handed to him. And there was no coming back from that. Wilder wasn't going to win that fight. He, he said it himself. He didn't have any legs. He felt drunk. He, you know, he felt everything was foggy. You know, what could you do at that point? But, but stop it. But again, that's my opinion. I think he should have stopped it. However, it did not stop there when he stopped the fight. That would be one thing to go publicly like, hey, listen, 
The responsible thing is I fired Mark Breland because he threw in the towel. But he didn't stop there. Okay? If he would have stopped there, that would have been the responsible thing for Deontay Wilder to do. But he did not do so. What he did was he went on to do something that he thought or what his opinion was on also that furthered Mark Breland's credibility. Okay? And that's something you don't do. Because for one, you can't prove that shit. As far-fetched as it sounds, it sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. But you can't, you can't prove, even if Mark Breland, ha <laughs> I did, you know? Even if you did think, or he, if he did, you can't prove it. You know, but then there's no motive to even support that. If this was a, cr a crime case, like all these cats try to make it, look, it's a, it's a crime case investigation. No, it ain't. It's a bunch of fucking rumors on based on people's inability to accept what the fuck happened. And what happened was he got beat up and his trainer felt like, look, I can't take this shit no more. Fuck you, JDs. Right. And it doesn't matter at the end of the day, people, because uh, the drunk ref referee, the one that took a point from Tyson Fury out of the fucking blue. He said he was going to stop it, too. Bars. <laughs> But I think at the end of the day, I think that Deontay Wilder had more up his sleeve or had more in mind when it came to Mark Breland. So you can't say I just fired him because he threw in the towel solely when then you add to it like I think he spiked my water or helped spike my water. That's worse than throwing in a fucking towel to me because that's that's criminal. Okay. That's enabling you not to protect yourself like you should, not to have the reflexes like you should. You can't fight back like you should. You know what I mean? And that and you let up in this person, you're accusing a person of putting your physical state at risk in a fight where it could damn near be life or death. Well, someone can literally beat you to death. OK, so that's the problem with Wilder and Mark Breland. So when you fire a guy, fine. Okay, you fired me. You know, you, we had the meeting that never throw in the towel, whatever, which is stupid as fuck. But you fire him because he did that, because you told him not to. Fine. But don't go and say, you know what, I think he spiked my water and shit like that and, and dragged my name through the mud. Don't do that. You know, talk about only the reason you fired me, because then you add more to it. It makes us to believe, which is true. That you fired him other other than that. Why do you think they said he was fired? Then Shelly Finkel said, no, he's not fired. But then later on found out he was fired. You remember that? Okay, so those type of things happened. And because they weren't really sure what was going on. Deontay Wilder made a decision to fire Mark Breland. Not only because he threw in the towel. That was the excuse. But the other part is he, he blamed Mark Breland from, for being in the condition that he was in. So he, someone had to get thrown under the bus and it was Mark Breland. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Fanon, Mark Breland, and Deontay Wilder. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counting punch. Peace.